And here we go again with multiple spaced repetition workflows in Notion. After the first video on this topic, I had great suggestions from you and I spent more time on it. And today I'm finally ready to share with you this updated spaced repetition template. With this, I want to start a conversation with you all and improve the template together. I've prepared four different scenarios, plus a bonus tip that might be helpful we will see at the end. And here on this page, you will get what can really help you in order to build the best spaced repetition workflow for your needs. Let's dive into it because it's gonna be a nice ride this time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know down in the comment section below which workflow is working better for you. This is Nata here, talking about Unreal Engine, Blender, 3D Art in general and like today, some productivity stuff in Notion. These four different databases all involve spaced repetition, but each one is a bit different and can serve you better than the others depending on your needs. Before jumping into the video description to grab the free template, let's take a look at these databases and how they differ from one another. The first example here is as simple as it sounds. We have a repetition on off toggle here, so maybe you can decide which notes you want to repeat and which one you want to keep on hold. And then we have a last repetition column you can change manually every time you finish a repetition. And then we have this repetition formula that says that uh, when the repetition toggle is on, we add a certain amount of days to our last repetition date. Um, it's a fixed amount of days in this case. Um, I've put seven days for now, but of course, depending on your needs, you can decide whatever number of days it's better for you. And uh, I will move on directly to the second option here. The repetition time span in this case is driven by a retention property. Um, after you complete a repetition, you can assess the level of understanding you have of the topic, how much confident you feel about it, and give it a rate uh, with these fancy colored books. We have a couple of hidden properties here, a start date and a retention matrix. Uh, the start date is present in all of the templates and uh, it's always hidden by default but I thought it could be nice to have and maybe it can be automated and useful for other formulas but um, if you enable it you have the date of creation of your notes so you can come back later and see when you took the uh, first uh, note about that subject and it can be helpful. Um, the other property here is our retention matrix. These are numbers that uh, we relate to the different retention um, grades here. In this case here if I feel less confident about the topic um, I will repeat the same topic uh, after one day. Um, if I feel quite okay about it, we can repeat it after a week. And if I feel pretty confident, uh, we will repeat it after two weeks. You can always uh, change this value for your needs. But now let's move down to the third template and see a bit better how all of these works. So in this case, I combined the first two templates. So we have the repetition toggle and we have the retention grade. Um, and if we look at the hidden properties, we also have the start date here and the retention matrix as before. So how it works, so the toggle of course, enables and disables the repetitions and if we change the grade 
the next repetition date is changed accordingly so it's really nice way to visualize our retention and next repetitions and for every template I already included different views in this case we have many so for every every claim template you have a today view so we can see what we have to um, review today and then we have a repetition calendar included for every template so we see directly here our planned repetitions I already applied filters in this case um, we will see only uh, nodes uh, that have repetition enabled and um, it's nice in this way to view also the retention here so we have uh, a nice understanding of the grade of uh, retention of the uh, repetitions and notes we, we planned and then we have of course uh, a view that can show us the repetitions we have enabled for now at the moment and we can move this here for example we have a repetition off so in the opposite way we can view the repetition the, the notes that uh, uh, are not actively um, involved in our repetition pattern right now and lastly we can view the repetitions that um, we feel complete so we if we go back to the main view um, I'm feeling pretty confident about this topic now I say we are done I'm super cool I know everything about it so let's mark it as complete it will disappear from the main view and uh, from the other view and it will show up only in the completed view here in the last section here we have our four repetition toggles uh, template uh, I showed you in the first video about spaced repetition um, so if you liked it you can still find it here and um, it's a bit refined since the first uh, iteration because now everything is um, changing uh, in respect of this uh, last repetition date and uh, as every other template here the start date it's just an additional data you can have and not um, something uh, really useful for our next repetition formula like in the first time this last template here is something uh, that can be useful to some of you I find it a bit tricky to use but um, uh, in this setup the last repetition uh, date it's uh, automatically um, updated every time uh, you do something on, on the respective row so let's say it's time for uh, the repetition of the note one I open the note one I go through the text I do something here and um, every small uh, change in the um, in the document uh, updates automatically the last repetition uh, date the problem is that everything you do in this row uh, will update automatically the last repetition date in this case so even if I just um, enable the repetition uh, this counts anyway and the last repetition date is updated so everything I do here um, will uh, affect the last repetition date um, because we are just formatting in this case we have like um, let's see we have also a last repetition matrix and the next repetition matrix so we have um, last edited time property 
and then we use a formula to format it in, in a more readable and useful way. So we get rid of the actual time. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, and we do that with the format date uh, passing through the last repetition matrix here. These were multiple spaced repetition workflows in Notion. Grab the template below. Give a like if you enjoyed the content. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and let me know in the comment section if you are actively using spaced repetition and which workflow is better for you. That said, thank you for watching and see you to the next one.